is being made. Today they're turning Nicole Park into Gwen Jackson Park. Mother Gwen has been such a blessing to the community, a support to the community. She was a legend for her community, making a difference, teaching young people the history of Nicole Park, which is now the history of Gwen Jackson. I was blessed to work with Mother Gwen in 2016 when we did the Project Bully. I volunteered my time at the Nicole Park, what now is the Glenn Jackson Park, teaching kids filmmaking, which Bully was one of the movies that transpired. Everybody in the back there, see what these guys, yeah. Oh, I got luck, Sister Monica. She's here supporting this whole event and of course just being a part of the legacy. And settled here in Oakland. And Miss Gwen's heart, I knew her as a friend, and I'm not gonna talk a whole long time because we have some very special people I'm gonna announce in a minute that are going to speak about Miss Gwen. But she was my dear a friend. Uh, we prayed together uh, every Thursday for the community. Uh, for her friends, for the children, and as a result of Miss Gwen's humble spirit. Now this is just a, you know, a, a very simple woman. I mean, she lived right down the street and turned this environment totally around, right? She just switched it totally around, leaving for us a role model as to what we can do for the community. So in addressing Ms. Gwen, we have three wonderful speakers. I'm going to, um, we have Holly Alonzo, Executive Director uh, for the Peralta, Peralta Hacienda uh, Park. So Holly, are you? And then I'll have some other information to share with you. make her sound like a saint, which she was in many respects, but you never had so much uh, fun with anyone as with Gwen, laughing, and, and or her consoling you for, you know, difficulties, or telling you to go on, and I have to say, I do think about her and what she told me and what she taught me almost every day. I got to tell her. very much about how art plays a huge role in our communities. It 
goes beyond language, beyond education, because anyone can have that response to art yeah, in the right setting. Uh, the irony is not lost on me that I can walk to this park normally. <laughs> um, thank you all for being here, and I, um, I start there to follow a I don't know if we ever got the irrigation done, but did we ever get it done? But man, she I know we took care of the bus station, the benches, but most of all, she loved children. And whatever she did in this neighborhood, including Kerr Flood, I mean, she was after us, take care of Kerr Flood, make sure they can play baseball, soccer, and so forth. And, uh, but I, I'm really honored, uh, it's a pleasure to recognize her in this way. And to the family members and friends, um, Miss Jackson was really special to all of us. You know, the Patent Academy, she was at the NCAA. And uh, outspoken, but you know what? She got the job. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. So what we've all seen now is pretty huge. Now, Gwen has brought different organizations yeah. in the city mm -hmm. to get our council members out here with us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, other organizations. Uh, uh, she just made that connection. So she built bridges and bringing people together. You guys just look so beautiful. Then to uh, unveiling uh, her plaque. And to do that, we have Dr. Abraham, Abraham Ruelas uh, and his wife Pat, who have 
been very instrumental in coming up and in getting up with Charlie and Ellie. Got Charlie and Ellie, but Marty's name, huh? My Alicia, my Alicia with Charlie and Ellie are going to help uh, Abe uh, un un build the plan. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know what that old, but uh, I was part of the Community Development Block Grant Citizens Advisory Committee that recommended the funding for Nickel Park. I was actually part of the construction crew that built the first version of this park. And so I so appreciate what Glenn Jackson has done because the time she stepped in, the park was in a pretty bad shape and led the whole redevelopment of the park and until her passing was working with children and utilizing this park the way it was meant to be. And there's children out there, there's families coming here, it's a pocket park. And the original model was that this wasn't originally a city park when it was, it was first built. It was a neighborhood park and the neighbors were going to be taken care of. And so since then, yes, we've negotiated, get city services, they mow the lawn different things work on the plumbing. But ultimately it's going to be us to keep this one nice and clean, we work, clean it, paint, all those different things. So whenever you're here, whatever you can do, those little things, it's all going to be about us coming together to keep supporting the vision that we had for what these children can get maximized here in terms of all these different projects and just their learning and being good citizens of our city. So we're going to now fail and then NCPC funded this plaque, and so we were given options, including she supposed Winston Churchill. And we go, no, we don't no. want Winston Churchill first. We want her word. The <laughs> so, plaque has her word about children. So. helping us with all the big strong getting our chairs out here we want to make sure we thank uh, everybody for assisting so uh, oh Terry there you go back there where's your little lions <laughs> red dragons a oh, red dragon oh, red dragon <laughs> we want to see who's going to be sponsoring helping the host next next year here they come for Manny Yates thank you for coming out yeah. all right yeah. Yeah. Red, red dragons are white. Red dragons, huh? Red dragons who are white. We are strong-minded people. We will never give up. We will fight to the end. Red dragons, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, red dragons, thank you. All right. Right. And some balls. Beautiful. Right there. Okay. All right. Wait, one more thing. Hey, a dead white people filmmaker. I am the new Oh, yeah. Oh, I have to get when, but I'm gonna flip it to the other side. So I'm here at Gwen Jackson Park celebrating her legacy in the community, just being a force to reckon with in the community, giving back, teaching, educating, and making sure the kids had something to do during the summer as well as after school. Mama Gwen passed away last year but her legacy continues on in the community 
by everyone coming together today honoring her at Glenn Jackson Park. A day in life of a filmmaker, Sandra Smith. We love you, Mother Gwen, and we miss you. God bless.